shambles, man. Not a great look to the start of this game. Gory dropping down. Oh, no. Okay. Actually coming through for this Rift Herald. Oh, a little bit difficult here. Licorice, no ultimate. River, gonna throw back the Enrolder. They just got the damage to steal comes out. Down mm -hmm. goes the jungler. Mm -hmm. Top laner mm -hmm. next on the list. Flash out to safety, but in goes Adam. Coaling the Meek here. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, he's been to Denmark. Jungler and another kill donated over to Sticks. Hey, Licorice immediately gonna get the cancel. Big potential moment here coming in. Now forced to snap back here. Where's the follow-up? Adam now gonna win the 1v1. Licorice denies the TP, but it costs him his life. We saw the cancel. I was like, oh boy, we have definitely overextended, but BDS taking those early advantages and really hammering them. Some legal weapons. You just <laughs> of course. Banned what, according to Reddit, absolutely. The thing that won was the problem, so you should have banned that instead of whatever opportunity cost is. I've never heard of that. <laughs> it always feels just on the cusp of personal with you, Mark, and I, and I enjoy that immensely. It's like, are you referencing something specific? Adam pulled back, but he's a beefy boy, and in come the cats. Uh -oh. And GG is just going to get shredded through, sticks on the backside. Instantly, LeBron goes in the shock wave combo. BDS. From start to finish, taking control of this game, doing it in style now. As they break into the base of the Golden Guardians. This could just be the end. Are we going to get a Dancing Herald? Probably not. It's got 90 HP. But the thought, fact that I had to ask that question says a lot about this game one. I think they're going to go for Wait it, though. Second. Dancing Herald. Yeah, I got to say, this is a statement. Oh. No. <laughs> this is a statement. It's gone. All right. And it's still a statement game. At least it's post 20 minutes, all right? BDS, at least it's something. <laughs> striking first in the World Qualifier Series. But Adam being this low with Licorice having knockback. Oh, well, the knockback hits. The dash out to safety. Always have to be careful when Adam has the ulti up and available, but he's just getting lower and lower. The all now comes up. Licorice is feeling confident. Unstoppable. Turret shot. Whoa! Oh! I mean, you have the Stripe Breaker finish. Actually, he's going to hop on the sticks. Just cleanses. Just starts to walk him down. Is he just going to have a Garen oh, moment? No! He is! He is! He did the math! He knew and he will die for it! First, Ulti already burned for the mouth, but it's 4k and it's getting lower. Adam off to the side, just trying to isolate the carries. Eyes on the objective, 2k, it's getting lower. Now you have to steal it, it has to be taken away. And Geo manages to get it, it's just a coin flip, but it comes up heads for BDS. GG, now need to get something back in the fight. River on the side, trying to survive, but he does uh -oh, get caught six out. Licorice getting lower and lower. Nuke and Crowny together versus the world. And here comes the Garen. BDS again finding the angle. It was all good for Golden Guardians, but they can't find the smite. They can't find the fight, and BDS bring it back. Here, which guy? <laughs> this inhibitor down, but they want to go for it. Adam immediately just going to go in. And he's just doing Garen things. <laughs> Kemp Tech Soul keeping Stixe alive, but just barely as BDS again break through the base of the Golden Guardians. Moments away from match point. Golden Guardians finally ready to mount a defense, but it is too little. It is too late. Why would, Why there, would there ever be a lady riding a boar <laughs> on the top side? Here comes the Bear Cavalry. He's Licorice the is not ready. There it is, a nice bit of Gouda to get things kicked <laughs> off in game three. Two had stolen or finished off a lot of objectives, as well as punish Golden Guardians on the way out. Silence, ulti coming in. Look, responding with an ulti of his own. Now trying to just run. Rakan on the way up, though. He's getting pinched. Between a born of a sty and the knockup now coming through. Licorice holding on for now. Azir on the way in. I think he can make it out. Corey, is he willing to burn anything? No. Locked up, and finally he will fall. So he can do. Gods, gods, gods. That's that's really <laughs> what my takeaway is. That's this. a bit of a cope there, and here comes the Garen spin, and goodbye to Gory. Let's see. The dialogue options are good. The romance options are good. The play oh, the is good. Baldur's Gate 3 coming out on top of this one. Gory getting absolutely oh. devastated. Cope falling apart. The knockup again. Oh, my is God. And he's making a montage. No, this is tough. This is Helm's Deep minus Gandalf. Important to have that level of discipline, at least for a moment. The Ignite going down very likely means it's the oh my and God. Adam. 50%. <laughs> Europe waking up early, annoyed that they have to, but damn proud to get to watch this incredibly dominant performance. And now the BDS have finally broken into the base. They're taking their time. They're playing with their food. They're stacking up the kills. They're padding those stats. And right here in this moment, BDS have made it for the World Championship. He's actually gonna go for this again. He flushes for the pullback. You're going nowhere. Apprehended in Shio. He's coming back. I expect Shio to just stay here pretty much all game at this point as he charges on it. Sparta, you're gone. It's another kill. You're not gonna do anything. Jay on the top side of the map this game. And in the meantime, the bottom side are ahead as well. 10 CS, they've got Pryo to... And right when he was about to, sees LeBron come out of the fog four, cancels it. Yeah. But still got the flash out from Nuke, who was predicting the flash from Glory. 
As now, with no flash available, rooted up, might just be taken down here. That's a nice little kill, but a solo kill in the you know, 40 seconds. <laughs> Adam going full oh, French, no. he loves a guillotine. As uh, Sparta could be in trouble again. Shio is here, pulls them in, knocks them both up. The sustain is there, and BJ bleeds to death. Sparta's gonna be next. Is the Q coming back up? Quickness, though. Oh, oh, but he channeled it just in time. The buffer is beautiful from Adam as he looks for a little bit more as well, and he still lives on. Adam is on. Total number of like healing in that fight from Adam because he got solo so many times. Oh, oh my god, he's done it again. Does he just bleed? The bleed enough i don't know there's a He's pot ticket no away the bleed is there is it no in the mid game maybe team wales can give the next one because frankly if adam shows up it is completely jover who could be in trouble here as glory tries to move up no he's not they toggled vision even i was baited bringing ba onto the squishy back trying to get onto adam here four man stack adam is tanky though he pulls him in he heals himself up and the rest of the team arrives it's disaster for team wales they try to adam! find a pick and they just Get slaughtered! Three picks for BDS and straight onto the Baron. The Herald, blood for the blood god, and both top laners oh, are so Sada. low. Adam's trying to solo Adam. kill Sparta, and he's got him under the tower in the meantime. That one, meanwhile, Glory in a lot of trouble. Great ult. He's knocked back. The flash does dodge away from the flick back. It's a fantastic goal. Adam dives forward, finds the stun. Nuke doesn't have cooldowns as they thread and volley flies in. Items, can you get them in 90 seconds? We even get Sparta here. He's going to be running, but that's a Weaver's Wall. Flash is available. I don't know if he'll be able to get over there. Does dodge. Oh, oh nice little flash. Gets creative, uh, but he's dashed into five players. Oh, hang on. Baring. We've started Baron. Team Wales in the pit right now. Adam behind them, and the smite is there. Bean J grabbing the Baron. Is Adam trying to survive, trying to sustain in the middle of the pit. Dashes out to DPS just yet. They will have vision off this. Harp going to look to try and maybe engage on top of this one here. They're going to get a nice little bit of vision. Three Man knock up as well as huge, but Labrov puts himself between everybody and the crop creeping CC. They're gonna be able to take down Harp. Crowny has to go straight away into the feathers flying. It's the same as the last Rift Herald fight. There is the Maokai ultimate, does land on a couple of people. The TP comes in, the Glacial Fisher to try and disengage from it. Crowny putting in serious work and Dead Steel going down. Now Nuke comes in from the flank. They jump on a Unipon. Appleman just kind of trying to stand forward and is doing work on the front lines, but not quite enough to be able to take anyone down. They're looking at Adam, they're gonna try and CC him down. The Infernal Chains will bring him back. Can and they kill him off, all five members right on top of him. The Gore Drinker and the ult give him a fair bit of healing, but not enough to stop him. But your base, DFM, yes, you got rid of the crocodile. D Adam has died. TP coming back in from Adam. Now you can see Labrov with the Unbreakable, keeping him alive. Harp goes down, Crowny still fearless in the fight. Takes down his opposite marker as Unipon goes. And the triple kill from New. Steel wants anything to do with this. And now, top lane, the, ooh, lovely flash from Adam. You can see him now looking to try and just hold against the Demolish proc, and now the tower has gone down. He's gonna have to use the ultimate. Appleman just get grounded a little bit. He's gonna use Adam as a little bit of a taxi out, but I don't think he's got any way out at all. Adam finally gets a kill here on his opposite number, and now Cheo goes straight onto steel, but it'll be difficult to finish off this kill. And say that double kill for Adam. You can see Adam just kind of moving around, trying to find somebody to catch out. He's sitting there on a little bit of a ward, trying to make sure he knows no one's gonna be able to catch him out. They're not gonna be able to get everybody out of this one here. The Blitzcrank goes down next. Labrov just biding his time. There's no tower for Arya. He's in no man's land. And he knows that he's going to maybe try and push towards this tower to maybe get a little bit of damage. But it's going to be all for naught because right now he is between a rock and a hard place. And imagine if Adam had a real weapon. Penta kill! BDS now looking for off. CFO, can they look to turn this? Alti already down. Rest in the midst of the team. Unstoppable now. Adam throwing it back into the rest of the team. The leap in from Chelsea. Shown on the backside just now getting in. He's at least going to be able to take out LeBron. That is one. CFO firing back. Coming in. Jimmy and going to grab the kill. Rest in the midst of everybody. They need oh, to burst to the Aatrox before he can heal. The stun now coming in. The follow up is there. Rest not going to make it over the wall with the flash. Good two and a half items. Shreds this objective. Just needs a bit more time. So Dwani as well just consistently proccing that E. Jimmy and waiting over the wall. Low mana too. Crowny getting lower. Shun does a lot of damage. Doesn't have a lot of mana. Adam instantly going to go for the Haymaker. Just trying to buy space for the rest of the team. Just to the Baron and it pays off the entire team is dragging for a brief moment and that's all they need to drop the executioner's axe going in on the engagers trying to force Adam right into the back line looking for the pullback for the haymaker massive damage on Deshaun has zoned him out completely from the fight the mountain soul comes through the play has already fizzled Shio stepping forward just to make sure they body block it now BDS want to turn knowing that the entire team is split 
Massive healing comes in for the Aatrox, but it's just not enough. BDS walking forward. Need to keep it together. If they stay disciplined, this should just be their win, but they're trying to find an opportunity. Nuke locked up for a brief moment, but there's no immediate fall. Jimmy and trying to look for the angle. Shall see in, but it's too little. It is too late. The carries of BDS remain standing. Jimmy will not be enough. The blade coming through, but at the end of the day, it is Crowny tearing through the entire team. Rest running for the hills. It's going to be in that dragon that much easier to secure it. There should be no way for CFO to win the 50-50 with Crowdy having that many spears and eyes on the prize. They immediately gonna ult. Now the follow-up just has to stop in its track. Shousey's there, but there's no effective damage output. Solid fight for BDS thus far. Do they want to commit or back away with what they got? Crowdy just continuing to step forward, knowing he's under no threat. Shousey over committing into the Tarak, and now Adam is instantly looking to follow up. BDS finding the angle too. Now CFO forced to play to their tune. Now looking to test 6k getting lower. Again, it should be impossible to steal this objective. Stun locking up. Should be enforcing out. The early stopwatch looking to burn him down. He's now pushing back. He's now trying to make it out to safety. Tarak now coming down. Can they take the objective? Again, there should be no the way to get stolen. It's sloppy on the finish, but it does not matter. As they look to find the fight, Shun on the backside, not able to finish off. Nuke, Nuke, still standing. Gets with the Fnatic logo. Gemini flashes in with the smite to finish the job. But at the end of the day, BDS get the Baron. And Adam might have struggled against the Aatrox, but he is absolutely smashing this Kai'Sa. Taking his time, Shun running for his life, but it does matter, does it matter? Oh <laughs> my god! Play a Maokai ultimate, Maokai ultimate traded. Kitty Cat's going back and forth on both sides. Tark ultimate now coming in. Chelsea is once again overcommitted to the Tark ultimate. Will not get stunned up this time around, trying to pop back, but Adam immediately just stepping forward to the back line. So much damage coming out from the Cole the Meek. Chelsea dead as well. CFO trying to dig themselves out of the hole and only end up digging deeper in the favor of BDS. Fate's Call coming out, thrown in the midst of the team. The shield coming in again. There's no angle here for CFO. They're booming in to just get slaughtered. Crowny again, still standing. But they don't have the money. They don't have the comp. They have nothing left. That fight was not good, and BDS punished them for trying to take it. BDS, no, they have to go for something. Labrov on the backside, looking for it. Woody gets caught out. Woody gets assassinated. They kill off one. Junja looks the guy to get a cataclysm, but he can't get anybody else. Now, can they jump onto Waka? He does have a flash available. Does only need the 90 counter Berlet, but can he get back over the wall? He's flashed forward, and they will get killed down. Nuke picks himself up that kill. He is here to split push and win the game. Adam says he's had enough. 32 health. It's an insult. Of Maple as he throws it across. We're going to see them try and go for a fight. It's a bit of a cross of the lanes. There we go. BDS secure themselves a the dragon, but they are stunned up a little bit. Crowny gets jumped on Whoa. and immediately predicted on the backside. Aji can't finish him off. Neither can the Silas. They're going to try and maybe murder this whack whack right back on top of Caitlyn. And she goes down. They're trading this one back. It's a two for three. As Adam tries to play keep away. Crowny and Sheo doing the work right now. Ooh, Aji takes a huge chunk of damage. Junja walking away from this one here, but I don't think he's going to get out with his life. No, he is not. Labrov perfectly placed to try and keep everybody off. The Baron still on 4,000 HP as Aja has to back away. He's not going into Mega just yet. Crowny gets caught. Crowny's still alive. They show back the Wako as he finally gets caught down. They're looking for Crowny. How has he survived? Just about taken away. Sheo can't finish off this Baron. He needs Adam. He needs his top laner. They need to go back onto do this damage. Aji has been the carry of this team for PSG in game number three. He's looking for a little bit more damage. The smite can't come out just yet. Finally does go in. Getting a little low. A little low. Junja goes in a little early. The Cataclysm now down. The smite comes in. Sheo gets it again. That's the third one on swing and a miss by Maple. They can start to isolate him out and get that true damage in. Labrov just keeping everybody else away. Flashes forward. In. Jumps in onto Wako. And that's the play you need. Aja will try and turn it around like he did a Baron, but not today! Back in the play, they're gonna see them go straight in. They're using all the ultimates there, trying to make this one work. Trying to jump down on top of Maple, who has to sacrifice himself for the betterment of his team, but he will fall. Dead. To him. He's dead. Q assassinated Crowny now with very little mana. Needs to be very careful as Maple jumps in on top of him, but he had the stopwatch. We made note of it earlier, but Crowny is dead. Now it's on to Nuke to be the carry. They need to kill Maple as soon as possible. Aja goes forward, but he goes down. Now you can look to a little bit more, but look at the damage from Wacko. This is a Caitlyn on a mission, looking to be the hero of PSG. They want a clean record, a clean 3-0. Adam trying to be the god he was touted to be. But right now, gods can bleed, and he's taking a hell of a beating. Oh, teleport coming back in for Nuke. He's going to try and end this one. He's going to look to try and kill off the Caitlyn. One, two, one more. He doesn't even need it. Nuke TPing in with the kill, and BDS, they roar back into life. 
Just know there's a little bit of a move onto him now. Gets hooked back. Will have the flash that he needed. He's getting stunned up, but do they have the damage afterwards? The ignite goes in. Flash over by Adam. He wants this kill. Needs it to spin to win. Let's Beyblade. He pressure as heavily as he wants to. You can see how this uh, matchup going goes. For it. He's going for it. You know that Adam is there. Junja. Very much aware of it, but he didn't know how blood-hungry Adam is. Can they now corral on top of everybody? Maple's dead. The stride breaker is massive to try and slow them all down. They're running for their lives. They get the Adam over the wall. He doesn't need a flash anymore because he's got an Ivern on the 1v1 on the bot side. BDS, they're looking for everything. Oh, the Hawk almost lands onto Woody and Wacko. Honestly, nothing really happening for him right now. Not again. Bring down. They instantly move on to the Baron buff after destroying PSG. And yeah, I feel like this is a game five that we are heading to. You can see on those overheads there. Adam looking for a little bit of a move here. 1v2. Why not? He is not locked in here with you. You are locked in here with him. Adam now 1v3. We'll take it a 1v4. Wacko's left to defend the base. Adam will eventually go down, but PSG, you're losing the game. At keeping everyone away from the carries. Jump onto Junja, and this could be a petrifying gaze. Just slows people down. They get the knockup. Crowny goes golden. They need to kill off the carry of BDS, but he's just been punted away. It's all chaos right now. Shale moving in. Crowny stays alive, and so do BDS. We are going to game five. For a wall Adam. in. And once that goes play, he'll get the stride breaker, gets a little bit of damage out, trying to get those stacks up, brings down the old triple man knockup as Junja gets punted right back into the arms of Adam. He does get the flag and drag away, nice flick back as well from the Talia. Now Kyle Smith does stop down Woody and there is one more kill. Is a, is a beast of its own to be perfectly honest, but oh, flash in the upper hand, they found Wako and he is dead. Now Sheo on a little bit of a flank, maybe looking to try and go for something here. Here we go, Labrov goes in, they're gonna try and burst out somebody here. The front line cannot stand tall as Aja falls down first. Now you can see the lightning crash comes down. Junja goes completely hayward. Aja, it's dead, and now the reset can come in. Wacko needs to run away, but he's sliding down. He has a stopwatch, but he's on so little HP. BDS are doing it. BDS are killing them, and BDS will complete it. Quadra kill for Nuke. Be damned your curses. Be Expectations. BDS are going to Swiss. They've done it. The reverse sweep by BDS. The redemption from falling at the hands of Mad Lions in Spring Split, able to make the main stage of Worlds. There has only been two previous reverse sweeps at Worlds. This will be the third, and it will be the first for LEC. And BDS are going to the main stage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. If you want to go the extra mile, a share or comment would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.